Steam while stargazing. No! No, I have not. Okay, let's play this pollen game. I, I would really like to look at it. It's actually released tomorrow, and I'm going to point out it is a walking simulator thing. But it is a spaceship thing. So it's actually pretty cool. So let's bring the sound up on it. I should have dropped... The, yeah, if I could have ditched the winglets, that would have been awesome. No, the radiators for drag would not have helped. There we go, 1963. Oh crap, I missed the intro. We hold, missed the whole intro there. Can I play the intro again? Beta... Oh, Oculus. Oh, music. Yes. Let's just try that again. I'm going to reload it. Go on. You know you want to. Go on, Pollen. Up here. There. Mind Field. 1963. President Kennedy survives an assassination attempt unharmed. Thanks to Chrononauts, right? Kennedy assassination fails. 1967, USA and USSR combine their efforts in space exploration. They make their findings public and release all patents. Because, of course, the Russians totally have patents, right? Soviet Union? No. 1970, four big companies building upon the open patents of the USA and USSR join forces and found Rama Industries to further explore the resources of other planets and moons. Does that make sense? Will I be making a longer aerosport course? Maybe. Major leaps are made in space travel and colonization. Anti-gravity technology enables transporting huge payloads to the outer planets. Oh no, a major catastrophe in a research base on Jupiter's moon Europa kills 200 scientists. A single survivor manages to skate, escape, bringing all the research data to Earth. Industries makes a groundbreaking discovery on Titans, or oh, Saturn's moon Titan. They establish a research base there. Um, John Sill is asking about the comic book Chrononauts. I don't think Chrononauts. I'm talk talking about the game Chrononauts, which I don't think is related to the comic. Uh, okay, so now we can play the game, and it should totally work. Uh, I'm going to do a new game so you can see the intro. Yes, well, but this time we're on Titan. Okay. Oh, look at the high-tech computer. The one of their points is that the internet doesn't happen. Thank you for answering the social relationship section of this interview. Now, for the last section, please answer the questions as truthfully and as quickly as possible. Okay. Psychological assessment test. Four, class two. Press the blue button to continue. Click. Identify myself more as male or female. Um, male or female, what do you think? I, I'm going to go with a female this time. Because, you know, with a name like Manly, I need to balance things out sometimes. I'm interested in technical devices. I disagree. I prefer teamwork to working all alone. I'm working with you guys. I like plants and flowers. Of course I like flowers. I plan carefully rather than act immediately. I plan things, right? While reading, you suddenly realize there's a bee crawling on your arm. Kill it! I would love to be a gardener. No, I wouldn't. I Thank want to be a spaceman. Person, space girl, obviously. We are now processing your PAT4C2 answers. Great. While we evaluate the answers, please take a look at the benefits in terms of agreement on your right and left. Two-year continuous contract, working in distant locations, no possibility of we time have off. We found a position matching your profile by... <laughs> please, have a pleasant assignment with Rama Industries. Press the red button to accept I like the how the smoking is still in working. fashion. Uh, yeah, this is a very strange alternate history they have. Okay, accept. We're going to Titan. Yes. Rama Industries landing pod approach to Titan surface. 2nd February 1995. In alternate history. 
System diagnostics. We get numbers, we get pitch, we get orientation, we get altitude, which is decreasing. Hopefully, I don't have to land this thing because I don't know where the controls are just This is 7 HQ. You have your first task as the new technician of Base M. We have lost our communication link with the base. Re-establish the comm link between HQ and the comm station. When this is done, we will send further instructions. HQ out. Understood. Not that you would hear my response anytime soon, since, you know, I'm, I'm obviously out at Titan and you're probably a long, long way away. Landing trajectory set to Base M comm station. How come they sent the spacecraft with just, like, one person in it? Altitude's still decreasing. Is there any windows on this thing? No, apparently not. Base M Station. Kraken Mare. Titan. Yes, there is actually a place on Titan called Kraken Mare. It's the largest, uh, it's the largest lake in the solar system that's not on Earth. Also, by the way, this name, Pollen, is really hard to search for because they use these dots. And if you don't know, if you just look for it with the, the full stop or the period, you won't find it. So, yeah. Aha. It's all blue. All hail the Kraken. There we go. Look, we've made it to the surface. Flashlight on this thing. It looks like a truck, doesn't it? Look at those heavy duty landing gears. Clearly, technology has moved on from the era of the lunar module. This thing is altogether much heavier and more industrial. Also, down there, I suspect that is Kraken Mare, the sea of hydrocarbons or whatever. Thankfully, there's not any oxygen, because if this were on Earth, all that stuff would catch fire. Keep the area clear in case of an emergency landing. That seems like a good plan. So, you know, one of the things with this is, you know, you're just supposed to wander around and check stuff out. That's half the fun. I say fun. That's half of the pastime. Outside, we are experiencing Titan gravity, so you can take these really big, long jumps. There's the comm station. I guess I'm going to go inside this to start working on the job. I'm supposed to bring the comm station back online. So it says F for flashlight. I've already got my flashlight on and it's telling me to do it again. Ooh. So we got buttons and stuff. Buttons to push. Okay. It's telling me that I need to pull this lever. So I grab it and then pull the lever down. And everything comes back online and we get lights. Atmospheric composition, methane and nitrogen. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Data won't reach Base E. There's not much we can do. We won't be here anymore. Do you think that... Why is the comm link to HQ back on? Did I undo that already? Can't be. I just saw him heading to the generator. Bloody hell. Phil, they didn't listen. They sent someone. Okay, God apparently I wasn't executive. supposed to be here. You there, in the comm station. I am the operating director here, Amanda Pohl. Listen, there is no time to explain, but all the mission data is being loaded in the cargo train. This is Saturn HQ. Good. We have the comm link up. Thank you. Next, you should head to base M. On your way there, you could lower the weather station telescope to protect it from the storm. HQ out. Yeah, apparently I'm allergic to this pollen, strangely enough. Okay, so this is the base. Can we take a look at the map? Titan base number 13. I thought they said they built a base. This is base number 13. I guess it could be base number 13 in the solar system. So we have a door, we have entry here. Re it's reinforce. Why would we reinforce that? And then we have M for camera. Certificate of approval. What's that say? Uh, Rama Industries. Yeah, so, I mean, half of this is just like, look at all the cool stuff you can look at. Yeah, look, you can adjust this thing and drop it. Great. Oh, here's the crew. 
I wonder how many of these crew will be still alive. Will I have to talk to them, or will I just live their lives through the medium of voice recordings? Amanda Pohl, Philip Pohl, Vasily Romanechek, Romanchek, Ion Le, Ion Lem, and two seven o o nine four. Karen Kowalski. Is that her phone number? Oh, you know what? Patrick Kowalski. Wait a second. How come... Was she replaced? That's interesting. That might be some sort of plot point that I'm missing. Because it says Patrick, but it's actually Karen. How curious. And then we have Lower Weather Station. Oh, it tells me what to do next. Lower the Weather Station Telescope and then report to the base. Great, let's do this. Oh, looks like there may be a star moving in. The smog on this world is impenetrable. Let's let's try running around this comm station just to see if there's any other things to see around here. Now we can climb up the back. Again. Oh, looks like there's a base over there somewhere. We should probably try to get to it. We have these big antenna, whatever. Okay, One let's... more data barrel and we're done. Data barrel? Uh, I found the generator's control rod automation. I'll bypass it now. Uh, here's the elevator. So this is coming out tomorrow. And it looks, as I said, it looks like it's one of these kind of story-driven adventures. It's not... There's no shooting or anything that nice to find. Heading to the comp station next. Yeah. Bramall sent a replacement, and the comm link is already up. They didn't listen to us. Oh, dear. What? I better hurry, then. Oh, no, you better hurry. Yeah, data comes in barrels. I think it's because they're sending it all on punch cards, and they have to, like, just load these things into a barrel. Oh, so this is storm warning. You see that? Nice little graphics there. And I have to turn this. Wow, my skills are amazing here. Why doesn't NASA put an artificial gravity module on the ISS? So they had planned a facility called the Centrifuge Facility. The idea was that you could put science experiments on it and run it like at a fraction of a G. But it was cut. Um, I'm trying to remember. Okay. I can't remember. Out. Somebody cut it, basically. I'm putting on the suit and entering the airlock. All right, Ian. Play it safe. Whoa! Look at this. Okay, the data is loaded on the train. The train? Why have we got a train on this planet? This moon. I mean, it's, it's almost like a planet. I mean, Titan. If it was broken free, it might be considered a planet, except for that whole thing being near Saturn and everything. Yeah. <laughs> the lights are flickering a lot. Oh my god, the lights are flickering! No, it's because of bad mojo. I'm making my way towards the base. Oh look, they have a... They talked about a nuclear generator, but they have like a windmill here. That is something strange. That is not a normal atmospheric phenomena on... Oh, oh what the heck? Uh-oh! That is not good. I'm having the space air leaking in. Goggles on, man. Uh, where are we? What am I looking for? I can't see anything. Oh, is this a controller? Yes. Quick, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Now here's the thing, like, don't light a match, because if there's methane here, if, if there's an electrical spark inside my helmet, it could be explosive. Looks like we're finally getting into the base. This is inside a cavern or something. Okay, so I gotta grab this and pull it. So I'm grabbing this, and you actually have to pull the... <laughs> Somebody's not getting the space gear leaking in reference. 
It's a Simpsons app reference. Space air, space air is leaking in, man. Visors are goggles on. Okay. And can I get a witness? Yes, please stop making jokes about KSP looking great. It's not funny. It and it just means that I will have to stop playing this and do stuff. And I'm too. I don't have the time. Okay, strong magnetic field. Oh, we have lights. Everything's suddenly back to normal. The goggles, they do nothing! Okay. Karen, calm station tuning, weather station telescope fix, storm shield fix, drill bit change. Not completed, missing the tools. Huh. Okay. So we got in here. Left control. Why is it telling me I want to do that to crouch? Oh, I can kick that thing around. That's great. And we have a whole box here with stuff. Hey! Let me in! Let me in, I tell you! I'm here! Oh, let's turn the volume up. Let me in! I'm out here! No, I'm locked. Okay. Um. Ooh. Well. That looks. Um. Like. Did he just get turned into dust? Who is this anyway? It's. What is that banging? That's really kinda scary. Assistant physicist. Employee number whatever. Um, security level A2. Okay, so it unlocks security stations and stuff. Great. Oh, tab. Oh, tab shows me the, the thing. That is a little spooky. I mean... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. That is... What is that? Is that a reflection or is that some sort of alien entity? I'll, everything starts to float in the air when I approach this thing. And in fact we get some sort of weird particle effect as well. What is this? LSU-6. Research Station. Rama. Hmm. Ooh, whoa, what the heck is that? Whoa! No! Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it! Whoa! Oh, the, the vibration's going like nuts! Ah! Okay, stopped. Uh, yeah, uh, what happened? What happened here? We have got stuff. It doesn't seem to work anymore. Okay, not there. Oh, what's this? Press play. It's been months now. Maybe almost a year or something. I guess... I guess it is December already. And today... Today I broke out of the airlock. I took the jackhammer, removed the outer door, and I don't know what to make of this. I know this is connected to the dead thing in the cave. The, the thing in the cave. After all the time I've been here, the things I've seen, I'm beginning to think there won't be a rescue. Oh, this is, what's this? That's strange, that wasn't there a minute ago. For the rescue team. Oh, wait a second, is this... Hold on. Let, let me just try something. Can I eject? Yeah, there's an eject button. Look, so I can oh, take this out. Help! Okay. And now this one. Yeah, there's, there's one and it has an icon. For the rescue team. Hey, what are you going to tell us? See, this is a tape collecting game. This is Karen Kowalski. I am a technician here in Research Base M. I don't know how, but it looks like everyone has disappeared. I was building the platform below the lab and then... Well, I'm... I'm alone here. Most of the power is off. Communications are out. And the air 
airlock door is stuck. At least the oxygen level seems stable. So if you're listening to this, come and find me. I'm coming to find you. We have an axe here and everything as well. And oh, the airlock is open. And my suit appears to be fine, which is very strange. Oh, and there's what this says uh, standard base door ventilation manual. In this book, you will find the principle and solutions relating to the following issues air pressure and flow entropy, airtight sealing, repairing and replacing parts of the door and air ventilation systems, emergency repairs in low oxygen environments, securing and bypassing safety mechanisms. That's apparently what she was using. Ooh. What the heck? That wasn't there. Oh. What's this? Hmm. DCS3E door module connector. Oh. This is not how I left it. This is very much not how I left it. And very much how uh, I. Oh, I like this. TGA. I never had a chance to look at this on the way in. Titan gravity area. 0.138 G. Rama Industries. And then on this side. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Earth gravity area. So we obviously have artificial gravity. I wonder. So I can jump here. I wonder if I go outside on the other side. Will I have Titan gravity if I go out here? No. No, I just have regular Earth gravity. Ah, game devs, you need to fix this. Okay, well, let's go and find out what else is going on around here. What happened? I was in a nice bright base and it was all nice and tidy, and now I'm in a dark base and everything's all messy. And... Oh, I wonder if it's that helmet. Hmm. Don't, not sure I want to touch that helmet again. Clearly, the game was designed for me to pick that thing up. We picked up that already. And we have hydro. Oh, I know what we need to do here. Oh yeah, they totally just click on it. Yes, I can get myself into the hydroponics area. Hopefully, there's no aliens turning up to meet me, or sorry, eat me. Me, eat or meet. <laughs> if if they want to eat me, then I meet. That's kind of scary. Is that? It's kind of scary music, I have to say. Really scary music. Okay. Well, we have another door here. Let's try opening it. Oh, uh, no, nope, not working. Let's take a look down here, see what we've got. Sounds very creepy in here. Really creepy. Okay. What is that? Caution, hot. Probably not anymore. Everything looks kind of dead. Except for the stuff on fire. I have to say, if that's burning, where is the fuel and oxidizer mixture coming from? I guess, like, oxygen leaking into Titan's atmosphere could catch fire, right? Oh, wait. Has we got anyone here? Hello? Hello? Is there anyone out there? Really hoping somebody is out there. Because this is not what I signed up for. Oh, we have a picture. It's uh, her again. And we have Mel Valsenuts, the investigation. Space Detective Raymond Bing. Uh, okay. Whatever, I don't need that. Okay. We have more stuff. Long-term isolation in space could be useful. Steve Fox kill shot. Lots of books floating around. Ah, oh, hydroponic horticulture. Written by uh, Mark Watney, no doubt. Here he would be an expert at this kind of thing. And we have a half-eaten chicken fl flavor? Chicken flavor MRE, maybe? Yuck. Not what I need. Oh, we have another tape deck here. I tried to keep Amy's research work going on here. He 
even with the lack of light, the plants seem to be doing fine. But the bees are behaving strangely. They seem to spread some kind of luminous dust. Like pollen? Out of reach, so I haven't been able to catch one to examine, but I'll keep trying. If this is some kind of experiment, I wouldn't mind it ending soon at the rescue team coming through the airlock. A week feels like a month when you're alone in the dark. Uh oh. Look at the bees! The bees are just growing! It's the damn bees. I'm gonna have to deal with bees. But hey, I'm a goon. I can totally understand and relate to bees. Uh, Nancy George and her family. Left mouse E. Great. Oh yeah, so it's telling me to throw it. That's what it's telling me. Okay, let's move this back. Let's see what this other plate, uh, this other tape does. Because we have a chance. Oh, is that a... No, I thought that was a gun. I was like, oh great, there's going to be some shooting in this game. No, nope, there's just going to be guns. Uh, boots. Space bees. So let's take this out of here. Hey, I got a tape. Now, we have this tape, which we haven't listened to yet. Go on. I found our doctor's lighter in the study. Along with the limited power I've been able to generate from the exercise bike and, well, let there be a light, as they say. Yay. I brought up some fertilizer from the cargo, but that hasn't really perked up the plants at all. I guess I'm not the only one missing sunlight around here. Yeah, without sun you're pretty much um, doomed if you're a plant. The fungi, on the other hand, they don't care for such things. They don't need such things. We got that. We got all that. So yeah, I think this is the way the game works. It's just like an explore and find things and maybe you solve the mystery. The bees are in my eyes! Do space bees make honey? I think apparently space bees make time travel or dimensional rifts or things like that. Crew quarters. Oh hey, we can get through to the crew quarters. Totally missed that. Uh, hydroponics and more food. It would be good to know that there's half-eaten rations here and there. Can I open this? Oh yeah. Oh, no, I can't move this. I gotta kick this out of the way, but I can't actually get in there because that box is in the way. And in this gravity, I'm unable to lift it. Okay, what's this? Uh, leftover part still works. What's this? It's a spinny thing. Uh, that will prove interesting if we get stuck here for a really long time and have to entertain ourselves. Look at the spinny thing! Look at the spinny thing go! It's gonna spin and spin and spin and spin and no. Employee uniform, no, never mind. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Nothing to see here. Let's keep moving. What's this? Oh, that's the ladder. Oh, this is flashing, so this must be interesting. Task list. Employee name, Karen Kowalski. Breathe. Drink. Eat. Have a house. Meet friends. Go to work. Have fun. Die. Go home. Yeah, it might be Mom's toothbrush because, you know, she was stuck there for a long time. She could have improvised. I guess this door has a button on it. Is this water? I've just stepped in. Apparently, somebody never turned the water off. We have an exercise bike here. Oh, that's interesting. Exercise bike is connected to the light. I wonder if I turn this, whether I can make more battery power. Oh yeah, look at that. Did that actually do anything? 0.2 kilocalories, yes. There, I can pedal the bike with my hand. Okay. Oh, and there's actually a kitchen here. What's in that? We have more stuff. And what's this? Beer! Pack 38. Alcohol 5%. How do I drink it? How do I drink it? That's all I care about. I want to drink my beer. Oh, crap. It's not good. The game doesn't let me drink the beer. That's so uncool. Tomato soup. I don't care about tomato soup. Ooh. Eat the basic six every day. Leaves. Toothpaste. Bees. 
pills, chicken and toothpaste, pork and toothpaste? I don't know. These astronauts, they sure have super high-tech diets. I guess that's what 1990s technology means to the modern astronaut. Okay, a lot of stuff here, and... Yeah, I don't care about that. Can we... Oh yeah, look, I can fill up the sink and flood this place if I like. I wonder how flooded I can make it. We got a picture too. Oh. Oh no, I wanted to read that. It was... Base M. 20 Titan Years. Taken in 1994. Looks like they're playing cards and stuff like that. Handle with care. Explosives. Oh, totally. Let me have that. W wait. Come on. What? There's nothing I can click on here? I want to pick up these explosives. You're not going to let me pick up the explosives? Man, you and your storytelling. You're just like, no, you don't want the explosives. You want to find out more about the life that this Karen has had while she's had her strangeness. What has she been reading? Oh, product catalog. Rama device. We don't care about that. We have some stuff there. We have a study that's locked down. Uh, huh. We have Time and Space magazine. 25 years of UNSA. Congratul Rama Industries congratulates the 25 year old research organization. We wish you an enlightening future and hope our symbiotic collaboration in space exploration continues to bear fruit. There wouldn't be us without you. That is a really spooky, like, stalker-like greeting. There wouldn't be you without me. Yeah, okay. And... Wait, what is this? These guys are supposed to be dancing? Oh, crap, I threw it away. I wanted to see what was on the back there. Base M! 20 Titan Years! How many... Is a Titan year like the time it takes to go around Jupiter? I thought that would be a Titan month. And a Titan year would be like... Yeah, really, really long. Oh, wait a second. Can I uncrumble this? No. Okay, never mind. I thought I could uncrumple it. Jane Austen! Who cares about that? Uh, I don't have time to read books at this time. Nobody there. What else can I see? We have another another bike. I wonder if I can get this one running. Go on. I'm like just dragging the thing. Is there a way to turn this on now? Oh, it's looking like it might be Oh there, yes! Look, we get some light in here now, you see that? just need to spin these things up to charge up the lights enough and there we have some light in this area. Welcome! Enjoy your stay because you're not going to be leaving by the sound of things. Okay, we have all these boxes. We have magic markers. Is that sharpies? Yeah, whiteboard markers. Home is where the heart is. Happy Holidays, December 1995. They're going to go home soon. At least that's what they thought. Buckets, cleaning stuff, and another tape. That's good to keep. Uh, Philip K. Dick, time out of joint. Is that another clue? Dear Jessica and Ethan, I got your card you sent from your trip. It was really delightful to see your faces. Sounds like boring exposition that I really don't care about. I want to find out what the entity that they talked about is. In loving memory of Patrick Kowalski. Hmm. I wonder if he's possibly related to Karen. Oh yeah, his wife, Karen. Okay, so she's obviously out here and a little sad and then she's now depressed. Oh, was this... it's Accident District? More, more... 39, that's interesting, okay. Oh, did I grab that? Okay. And we have pictures. We have little girl, Jessica, something to... oh, 93. And him, Ethan, 
94. I hope that means that... I hope that's like a, not they died in 1994. Jessica... I mean, did, she didn't bring her kids with her when her husband died, so what are the kids doing? That seems like kind of a crappy mum situation for her to disappear off to Titan for like two years. Okay, there's nobody in that, so I guess what I have to do is take a look at or take a listen to some of these tapes. And there will be no doubt more interesting exposition as we listen to them and their Karen, secrets are Karen, revealed. Karen, Karen, Karen. That's Nothing your name, don't wear it out. To my hair and fingernails were not growing. I think time was standing still. <sighs> I dream about Ethan and Jessica every night. You should. You apparently left them on Earth. Even the drugs don't numb the dreams no? anymore. Yeah, I keep taking them. Drugs. In some of the dreams, I'm back at home. But I act like I'm dead. Not hearing anything I say and just looking right through me. I see myself. dead people. They're only nightmares. I'm alive. I know I'm alive. Patrick is dead. But I am alive. I want him to have a face again. Oh, so apparently he must have died in some accident that removed his face. That's what I'm learning from this. Okay, we'll take that one and store it. Because you never know, we might need another. We need to take it out anyway, right? Let's grab this, drop it in there, see what this one sounds like. Play. Oh, fuck it. Oh, pardon the I'll language. Whatever keeps me close to sane. Yeah, Karen. Don't give it up just yet. I'm so tired of hoping for any goddamn thing anymore. I'm tired of this loop. Tired of calling it life. Oh, it's getting quite stifling in here. I'm thinking about moving into the lab and stop avoiding this thing in there. The atmosphere there feels somehow lighter. Lighter? That means it's cut it's full of more drugs, I'll bet you. Okay, what about this final tape? Okay, ditch this. Hello. Put this in here and grab. What is this welcome? I wonder what I can do with that. I wonder if there's something useful to be done with that. You were sent here and then crazy stuff Again, happens. I'm recording these messages for the researchers, but I guess I'm doing this for myself now. I only found a couple of cassettes, so I had to take over the old ones. I think this one is going through. Boredom's really been getting to me. Out of desperation, I've decided to break into the study library. I had to manually override the door system. You know, things are getting bad when you're resorting to breaking and entering just to read some of Philip's literary classics. By the time I get out of here, I'll probably be the most sophisticated drama technician in the solar system. Okay, great. How do we hack the door? I guess that's the next option, right? So... We have... The vending machine seems to be broken. What is this? Uh, oh, this is the garbage place. Ah, wait a second. So we've got this. We've got... How to make friends and influence people in space. Yay, okay. okay, let's uh, close that up again. Maybe I can purge it. Purge. It says full. Now apparently we've been unable to... Oh, oh, that's cool. I can turn this chair around. Yay, I wonder if I can sit in that chair. Apparently not. There's some stairs here. Remember, clean up your mess. Someone has not been listening to that sign. Or paying... Paying attention... Respecting that sign. Hmm, what's that? It's not any use to me. Some more garbage and stuff in here. I don't see anything useful. 
Wait, is that another? No, that's a that's a vacuum cleaner head. Oh, I can't get up these stairs. Hold on, get out of here. Yeah, I want to see what's upstairs. <laughs> I'm like kicking the garbage out of the way. Yes, that's right. Make room for me. I need to get. Make room for me. I want to get up the stairs. Thank you. Ooh, what was that? There was some sort of weird, scary sound going on there. Um, we have no pic more pictures. Milan. The unbearable lightness of being, yes. Little house in the prairie. Things which I really have very little care for. These look like... Yeah, these look like the residential quarters, and I don't think I can get in here. What's this one? The 2.3333333 dimension and other comics. Not what I care for right now. Jack Payne, the drawer, and this one is bust as well. Nothing is responding. My life with Master. Oh! Adam Douglas, Traveler's Guide to the Solar System. What do you do when you have too much free time? Where do you go when you have too much free cash? Take a tour of the solar system. This book tells you what to do and where to go. No price tags included. Okay, well I guess I've come around here and there is nothing else to see, so let's take a step down the stairs. And I shall... We have this thing here, right? This door is the one that I can't open. That's the old way back. Oh! Ah ha 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 ha! There we go. Cable access. Oh, I'm going to do some cable splicing or something. Great. What can I do with this? Is that going to help? Ram Industries. Um, okay, that's not going to work. Okay. So what can I do here? How does this work? It says green and blue. I don't know. Oh, I guess I can unplug these things. That's cool. I don't know. Let's try this one. Oh! Hey! Go on! No, that didn't work. Okay. How about... Oh, hey! It worked! Oh my god! I'm in! I'm in! I can find the new secrets on the other side here. Non-scientific approach to space research. Great. Okay. This is... The Reza Maintenance Guide. When your Rama Industries Entertainment System apparatus fails to entertain, this book helps. Whether the broken part is the tube vision display, logic circuits, or power board, now you can fix it. Okay, cool. It's dead. Power switch is going in there, so... I wonder if I can do this. Oh, this way. Spin it, 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 spin it. Ooh, we get something going on here. Cool! Look at those graphics! Oh, how do I work here? No, no, the control doesn't work. Oh! Okay. There, so I guess... Do I avoid these things? I'm guessing that's the only thing I can see to do here. Oh! Let's bring this here. Score! Let's try and get in the middle here. 29! I'm, I'm scoring like a pro on this. It's almost as if I have a career as a gamer. Come on, go faster! Go faster! Tempest 4, I don't know, is this what Tempest would be like if it was written or implemented entirely using uh, tubes, vacuum tubes and valves and stuff? The music is certainly not up to Tempest 3000's capabilities. I actually saw a copy of uh, the Tempest 3000 on the Neon at the video game uh, the Museum of Art and Digital Entertainment in Oakland. I was like, oh, I so want to play that because that was, you know, I'm a big Jeff Minter fan. How c oh, there, I died. That is... That is stunning. Clearly these people were cursed to live in a universe where video games didn't do anything useful. Oh, look. I see, we can do that. Can I claim on it? Or is it just going to let me move it? Advanced ortho. Oh. Whoa. That is interesting. 
Ah, uh, something weird is going on there. Oh, I wonder if that's another another time travel thing. Ooh. Oh, we get games going on. I can totally ruin their game. I don't know what the rules are, but I can totally ruin it just by moving stuff around. What's this button do? And audio would uh be. I wonder if I put my uh tapes in here whether is that what I wanna do? No, that doesn't work. So much for that. Oh, this is another one. Back to the future. Doesn't work either. Oh, we have a camera. I wonder if I can take a picture of it. We can take a picture. We can take a Polaroid picture. Let's drop this thing. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Shake it. Yeah, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, that's not actually very interesting. I'm getting bounced around like a crazy thing, though. What is pushing me here? That's very sca scary. Sleep deprivation and other disorders in extraterrestrial environments. Calvin Klein. 1991, A Space Odyssey. Ah, this history is certainly strange. And we definitely have something I need to check out. I think I'm going to check it out. I'm kind of scared because I don't know what this the flashy lights actually do. But I suspect that this is part of the puzzle solving that I will transition to another moment, another time. And there the secrets will be revealed. Okay, let's grab this. Whoa. Finding the entity on Titan. Whoa. I see the matrix. And everything's back and all shiny and everything. There's the and that I think will take me back, maybe. Oh look, we have a newspaper. Oh my god, they can actually read tons of alien news uh, future newspapers. Ten years of antimatter rockets. Lucky accident in virtual particle research led to conquering of space. Well, this is very interesting, but it is five past midnight, and I actually have work, and I have stuff to do, and I have planning to do, and so I'm going to have to say good night. This is an interesting thing, but I think, yeah, it's it's one of those... Uh, <laughs> the date and the Polaroid picture I took was wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, microfiche. Collector news summer. Can I actually adjust this thing? Hold on. Can I... Oh, yeah. I could... Uh, hold on. Grab this. Oh yeah, I can first Oscar for Roger Hubber. Uh, Moonwalkers wins the first Moonball Championship. You how how many things are <laughs> USA Europe Europa accident can cause years of delay in exoplanet exploration. Okay. Global Conference on Distribution of Population and Resources to Colonize Space or Stop... Oh, wait a second. We're back in the same loop. Okay. No, you just got into this game. I don't know. I think I might play a little more of it. It's... I don't know. I'm going to say, yeah, this is one of those explorey walking simulator type things that actual gameplay seems to be somewhat, you know, restricted to puzzling. Oh, look, wait. It's another dead crew member or, well, whatever. I wonder which one this is. This is Philip Clement Paul. And there's his glasses. We don't need those glasses anymore. In fact, I'm going to throw these across the room. There you go. Look at that physics. This is magnificent. Yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. I don't know how many of you are still watching, but thanks for hanging out. I'm sorry we didn't really do much Kerbal. It seems that I have too many bugs and I need to kind of rationalize. I didn't, you know, manage to get uh, anything set up correctly. But hey, the time jumps seem to be connected to locations where the dead bodies are. So they are. Oh my god, that's that's a genius notion. I might play m through this a little more. I don't know. Whatever. I'll see you around sometime. I'm Scott Manley and I'm gonna say fly safe.